Hiya. Uh, my name's Sean and I'm the managing editor of the Scuba News UK. And we are just starting to work with um, Oceanic to write some reviews about some entry level kind of dive equipment because predominantly I work with um, people that are just getting into diving or people um, that are just kind of starting out in the industry like new professionals, that kind of thing. So we're going to be reviewing the GO2 dive watch. If anyone's ever seen it or has it, it looks like this. Um, it's very watch type looking, so you can kind of wear it all the time, which is a really nice uh, kind of feature about it. It's not like one of the bigger, bulkier dive computers that sometimes you get um, when you when you start out that we've we've all had. Um, I like the colour; it's grey. I've gone for slate grey, but you can get um, there's blue and I think there's a white option as well. Um, it's got four operating modes: so watch, normal, uh, nitrox gauge and um, diving mode so that's quite cool it doesn't have any kind of high-end features that you'd expect like air integration from a kind of higher end dive computer but to be honest um, I think it fairly reflects the price that you pay for it so um, and again those, those sort of things maybe you'd upgrade and get a different computer later so it is made with that kind of mid-range diver in mind if that makes sense um, the other, the only thing about it that I did notice that I wasn't, I didn't overly like was that the log book is quite small. So it's 24 dives it logs, but saying that you can very easily um, upload your dive data to a computer. So actually, um, in a way, it's encouraged me to look back at my dives a little bit more and to upload them, have a look at them. So I don't think that's the worst thing in the world, to be honest. Um, but that's, that's kind of one of the negatives, I suppose. Um, I like the kind of size of it. So... Um, it's got quite big buttons. Um, the screen's quite nice and big. It's got all the visual sort of um, things that you'd expect, the alarms, um, so audible alarms and the visual kind of light up screen, etc. when you're underwater. The buttons, as I say, are quite big. So if you're um, diving in cold water, if you're a UK diver um, or just diving somewhere chilly, you've got big buttons. So if you've got gloves, it's not going to be a pain to adjust your settings underwater or, or on land. Um, so yeah, it's got a clear display. I thought the instructions were really clear. Um, yeah, I, I quite like it. I'd, I'd be interested to see what other people have thought about it. Um, but I would highly recommend it for um, new divers, anyone building dive kit. I, I've been diving a really long time and I still have one that I use regularly. Um, so yeah, for me, it's a thumbs up for the GO2. Oh, and it has um, the lifelong warranty, which is one of the major, major benefits of Oceanic is that if you kind of have any kind of issue with your equipment, not that you will touch with it, you won't. Um, they're really cool at just ringing them up, uh, emailing them, and you get hold of one of the team members and they they um, resolve things quite quite quickly for you. So their customer service is high. Um, so yeah, I like them from the Scuba News UK.